the designer bags that I have returned or sold recently and why. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, you my friends are in exactly the right place because we get it and not everyone does. So make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. Today's video I think is an incredibly important one. I am very aware that I, I do YouTube full time. I put videos out on designer bags on a very, very regular basis. And I have no doubt, I, I often get messages over on my Instagram, my handle is at handbag underscore holic, um, that some of the reviews and the recommendations that I give definitely influence what people might buy. I wanted to make this video to give like complete transparency. You will have seen some of these bags that I have returned and also some of them that I have decided to sell on this channel. And I wanted to communicate with you guys why I've decided they aren't right for me. Now, I generally like to think that no one would spend this amount of money, especially on designer bags, if they didn't really, really love the item themselves. Um, but hopefully these reviews that I put out on this channel are helpful. And I definitely think sometimes sharing the reasons why a bag maybe doesn't work out, even though it's for me personally, um, it might make you think twice about buying them. Or you might be like, do you know what? That is really not an issue for me. I still absolutely love that bag. And want to make that purchase. So I hope you find this video useful. Please do get involved by the way in the comments down below because I would love to know what bags or other luxury items have you decided to return or sell recently. I think we can learn so much from each other and definitely like fast track getting to a perfect collection sooner rather than later. Before we dive straight in guys if you never want to miss out on a future video release make sure you are signed up to the Handsbagholic email list. I will pop a link down below and up here for you. Okay, let's dive straight in. Bag number one. I have spoken about this in a video that I put out uh, not that long ago actually on bags that I want to swap and why. This video was so therapeutic because it made me look at my collection and think about what are the bags that I maybe don't use so much and what would I like to replace them with. So um, this bag is very nearly sold right now. Um, you will probably not see this in any of my future videos because it will be gone. Uh, my Pochette Matisse in reverse monogram. I have already spoken a little bit about why I want to swap this bag. It's not necessarily that this is a bad bag. This is a very popular bag. The reverse, I you know, I spent a lot of time. I've had every single, like I've had a leather version. I've had the normal monogram version. The reverse was the one for me because it has black leather and it's just a lot less, uh, sorry, uh, it's more carefree, which is something that I really value when it comes to my luxury items. I want to be able to use them and not stress out too much about the wear and tear. So for me, the reverse was perfect. And I think in general, I have a fairly large collection of designer bags now, and this is one that I do, don't gravitate towards. The main reason being is, even though it's an easy bag to use, I don't find it the easiest bag to use. So I've communicated, I actually use my Odeon. Let me grab this. I use my Odeon more because you've got the zipper on the top and you can actually fit bulkier items inside of this. So I have kept my Pochette Matisse around. I've had this for quite a few years now and I've used it about five times. I've kept it around because I can't, I hate the thought of parting with it. I spent a lot of time trying to find the perfect one and it's such a gorgeous bag, but it really is just sat around now. There are bags, my Givenchy Antigona, my new soft Antigona is one of my new favorites as well for every day, as well as my Odeon. Therefore, this doesn't get used. And you do see a lot of these bags around and I do find them slightly, because I've seen so many of them now and I've had this in my collection for so long, I find them a little bit like unimpressive because I don't know, I just prefer the look of other bags because I've seen this one so much now. So. This is why this one is now going to be sold. The second bag, uh, this one's been quite an interesting story. This is the Dior D-Light, the Lady Dior, um, in the Zodiac print, okay? As soon as I saw this on the Dior website when it came out, I fell in love. And I was like, do I get the book tote or do I get the Lady Dior? I decided deep down I really wanted the Lady Dior despite a rather big price difference. So this cost me 3,700 pounds. I thought it was really, really nice. I did a review if you want to find out more like what fits inside. Why I did return it in the end is because I had about, I think about four days left to decide and there was a new Lady Dior 
on the website. It was the Diamond Motif Lady Dior in the matte black and they do this in the small size. So slightly smaller, I believe, than the, yeah, they do it in the medium and the small. And I really wanted the D-Lite in the small size, but you could only get them in the medium. Anyway, I saw it and I was like, that will go with everything. It looks super edgy. I absolutely love the way that it looks. And the D-Lite was still in stock on the Dior website. Now, uh, if you are buying anything Dior, uh, what I would say is personally, I buy online because you get a 30 day returns policy. Uh, you can also get Dior on 24s.com, which is owned by LVMH. Um, yeah, I buy online because you can get the you can get the returns policy. If you buy in store, from what I understand, because um, I contacted Selfridges and they were like, yeah, no returns. Like you can exchange it, but you can't get your money back. So I always buy online if I can. And yeah, I had four days to decide, literally, and it needed to be like back at Dior in this four days. So I had to panic decide. And I was like, I've not seen this like motif bag in real life. I'm gonna head to London, but I'm gonna return the D-Lite anyway, because it looks like I'm going to be able to buy it again if I want to. So that is why I returned it. I returned it because I saw something else that I thought I liked the look of more. I then went to London, I saw the diamond motif. I can confirm it's very beautiful. And actually, because um, I tried them both on at the same time, the flap, the roll flap, which is a lot softer on the leather uh, di diamond motif compared to the D-Light. Like the D-Light was actually really stiff bit of fabric. I'm sure that would loosen up over time. I was also conscious of getting makeup on the bag uh, as I'm like going in and out of it. That is why I returned it. I have not purchased the diamond motif because I literally, as I was in London, I got a text from my uh, Chanel sales associate. I bought my Chanel trendy bag. If you haven't seen that unboxing, I'll pop a link up here. Um, and that was quite an investment um, for a bag. So I ended up spending the money on a Chanel trendy bag instead. I am still looking at the diamond motif. I really want it in the mini size, which is available in the US on the US website. It's not available here in the UK. I don't know why. Bag number three is the Louis Vuitton Marshmallow in the Sunrise Pastel Colour. Um, if you watched that unboxing, I did a review of the bag, the Marshmallow, loved it. It was such a cute little shape, but I returned it. I returned it to Louis Vuitton. Um, the reason being is that I purchased the On The Go PM in the exact same print very similar bags in terms of size. There were some plus points for the marshmallow bag. The marshmallow bag had a zip across the top. It had a really nice big top handle. It had a nicer cross body strap than this one, but I just love the boxiness of this and I felt like I would wear it more. And I actually took it with me to Dubai. I absolutely love wearing it. It's just, a, it is a really cute bag. I'm really glad that I did that. The reason that I returned the marshmallow is because I had like no plans to buy two items from this collection. As much as I do really like this Sunrise Pastel print, um, I don't feel like I need two bags that are very, very similar in size, would do exactly the same thing in exactly the same print. Like to me, I would rather have one and spend the money from the other one on something else that is quite a bit different, like something new in my collection. So that's why I returned it, nothing major. I just preferred this one. Bag number four is one that I panic purchased due to a sale. It was the Chloe Woody tote bag in the medium size with like the tan leather trim. Um, I have had my eye on this bag for the longest time and I can honestly say I loved it. Like I got it from Selfridges and they had like a 20% off discount and it was actually like a really good price for a brand new Chloe bag, especially one that is quite popular. It was super lightweight, which I really liked. But in the end, I decided to return it because, again, I'm learning about myself a lot more and I don't really like shoulder bags so much. Um, I find them annoying. Like if I'm going shopping for a few hours, I don't want to keep having to hold something on my shoulder. I don't want something under my arm. I want to be able to cross body whatever it is that I've got so I can be like carefree, cross my body. I can get what I need to out of my bag really easily. And I knew that I would never really use the tote bag. I mean, it would be great for like summer days, beach days, but I have also got like quite a few other tote bags and bags that are that size um, that I probably need to use more actually. So I just decided to sell it and get the mini instead. So I got the mini version with the black leather. However, I do think I'm also going to sell the mini and I'm either going to get the shearling version, the mini shearling, 
They've also brought out the Nano size now, guys. Have you seen the Nano? It is the most adorable thing ever. I need to see this in real life. I mean, I'm not sure it's going to be the most practical, but it probably is the cutest. Yeah, so I'm gonna swap my mini black one for a tan leather or the shearling one. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I feel like the black is nice, but I've already got loads of black in my collection and I feel like I just want something that's a little bit different. Either that or maybe like a cool fabric version of the mini woody tote as well. Bag number five, and this is a sell. Um, I've spoken about this. I think I spoke about it, yeah, in the video where I said I want to swap some bags. So I am definitely going to be going and doing that. This is my Speedy Dentel 30. I love this bag, I love the print, it's got like this gorgeous lace on it, it's limited edition, I believe from 2011, it's just the most beautiful bag. Two main reasons why I, I'm actually going to be selling this, um, in fact it's sold now, so it'll be going tomorrow now. I have a Speedy 30 in the Giant Monogram, which I actually like more in the sense that you get the clips on the side and this comes with a crossbody strap. Here we go, there's a, there's a recurring theme here, guys. But also, I find the Speedy 30 because I don't use either of these bags. They are quite big bags, they're quite bulky, and for me, I just don't need to carry this amount of stuff around with me most of the time, so they just don't get used. So this one is going, I'm gonna keep the giant one for now, um, and see how I get on with this over the next you know, few months to the next few years, maybe. Very sad to see this go, it's super beautiful, but I just don't use it and it's absolutely wasted. I'd rather get a smaller Louis Vuitton bag and also save the money. They're coming out with like limited edition collections all the time now, so keep the money for that. Although I do really hope they do something beautiful like this again. We've got a lot of like the pastel prints, the bright prints, the giant monogram, but I wish they'd do something like just super beautiful. The next bag that I have sold, it has gone, is my Givenchy Antigona in the medium size. Uh, this was in a black smooth leather with like pale gold hardware and it's genuinely like, I just, I love this bag. I love this bag so much. I used to use it all the time when I used to go to work because like, it would fit my laptop inside, a bottle of water, like a diary. It, this bag can fit life inside of it basically. Um, it's perfect if you are looking for a work bag, security of the zip. So why did I sell it? I sold it because I work for myself. I work from home full time. And um, I also have a new laptop, which is now a 16 inch laptop, not the 13 inch. And the 16 inch does not fit inside the medium Givenchy Antigona. So having such a big bag without a laptop that actually fits in it anymore, just seemed completely pointless. Like I, I will never carry a bag around that is that big. And because my laptop is now so big, um, I wear a backpack or like a rucksack with that fits my laptop inside because it does get super heavy. That is why I decided to sell it. I have now got my small, soft Antigona, which honestly I'm obsessed with. It is downstairs right now. It is downstairs because I'm using it. I use it every single day. I love it. I feel like it's edgy. It's the perfect size. You can crossbody it as well. You get a crossbody strap with that one. So yeah, for me, I've just, I feel like I'm holding on to something even though it was super beautiful. It was just wasted with me now. Um, but it, I've had many, many years of absolutely loving it. Highly recommend the Antigona bag. The last luxury, this isn't a bag, this is like a luxury item. Um, I'm still a little bit distraught that I did this, but I did it because I'm being practical. Okay, I'm making progress, guys. I'm not just gonna hoard things for the sake of it. Um, it's actually the coin purse that went with this on the go. I think I had, as soon as I said that I think I was going to sell that coin purse on my YouTube channel, I had like, a ridiculous amount of messages on, on Instagram and here on YouTube in the comments saying, please sell that to me. Anyway, it sold very, very quickly. And um, yeah, so basically it was the coin purse which attached to this strap here, it attached there, and you cannot fit anything inside of it really. I think you can get AirPods in, you can get coins in, you can get cash in, you can't get cards in. If you could fit cards in, I definitely would have kept it because it would have been like a mini purse, but you couldn't. And there's absolutely no way I'm attaching it to this strap and having it like dangling down. Like I just, I just don't like the look of that. This bag's already quite fun. I don't need that extra like bit going on. It would just annoy me. Um, so yeah, I decided, even though I'm a bit sad because I've split this setup now, if I do decide to ever sell this bag one day, it no longer comes with the coin purse. And you couldn't buy the coin purse. You could buy like the charm, but you couldn't buy the actual zipper coin purse. You had to buy a bag to get it. It is a bit of a shame that I sold it from that perspective, but I'm like, I don't plan to sell this bag. Like I plan to keep this bag. It could be my collection for many, many years, decades even, who knows, who knows, right? 
and it's just gonna be sat there because I'm not gonna use it. And I would rather have, again, the money to put towards new bags and other things that I've purchased recently. So yeah, that one has departed for me, my Louis Vuitton coin purse. It always breaks my heart a little bit selling or returning uh, some beautiful designer bags, but I also think it's super important to share why. Um, also for me personally, super important to accept you know, moving on and items no longer working for me in a certain way and definitely having like a clear out, a cleanse and thinking about the bags that I would like to buy instead has definitely helped me to get to this point and actually part with some things that even though I think they're beautiful, still to this day, um, sometimes they just don't work out quite right. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments down below. Like I've said before, have you sold or returned anything recently? I think we can definitely learn a lot from each other in terms of the reasons why. And yeah, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see what bags I have kept and how I style them, make sure you join me over on Instagram. My handle is at handsbag underscore holly. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I will link my latest video release here for you. And over here, the video that I've been talking about the five designer bags I've decided to swap and what I want to swap them with. Enjoy.